Warning, the following scenes contains organic roleplay that is unscripted on a Grand Theft Auto roleplay server. That's right, these people are pretending to be someone else in a video game. Okay, uh, there was a ride this past week. I had a lot of people talk to me about said ride. Apparently it didn't go as well as it usually does uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, and I'm sure there's a couple of people in this room that are very uh, prepared for what, what I'm about to bring up. Which, you know, sucks that I have to bring up this again. But enough is enough. Uh, those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this last ride, to my understanding, uh, Shane kicked a vehicle during the public ride uh, that led into a couple of people being hit by said vehicle uh, leading into um, Oliver having to provide medical treatment to uh, to these people uh, things happened Oliver got very uh, upset with Shane and uh, essentially is it oh, come on. oh man! Am I squeezing it in here? <laughs> I'm more worried about the rubber. Is it enough you? Ah, just heating up the tire. Okie dokie, we're gonna take off at 35, and then once we hit the main road, we'll probably get to get it back up to 45. So just wait my call. There's something one. wrong with uh, my bike. Uh, now. Now. I mean, it, it did get turned into. Ow. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, my bike's fucked up. Oh, no. everyone, everyone just keep going past Shane. Oh god. There's it's gotta be a carburetor or something. Get off the bike, Shane. Hold on, I think I have a repair kit. I don't give a shit. I don't trust your hey, ass hey, enough hey, at this point. Hold on, hold on. Mother Samsonite pearls. I'm really not the one you should be copying an attitude with right now, Shane Gunner. Hold on. Here we go. Let's do this. Holy crap. I'm going to have to take this actually to Ronnie's and actually have someone for real look at it. I'll move up, watch that. Take my bike. Oh. It's fine now, I think. Uh, no, it's not. I see it cutting in and out. Take my bike, get back to the fucking thing. I'll... How the fuck? Go! Because it... because you're an idiot, Shane. I've got it. Oh. Shane. What? This is your tail gunner telling you to take my bike and get back with the rest of the pack. Hey, Jesus Christ. You already caused so enough God. injury on this fucking ride. I didn't cause any injury. Calm down, man. You you better not tell me to calm down again, I swear. We're just go. No, so, I'm staying with you, man. This is your tail gunner telling you to just go. Well, this you is your go, goddamn friend not, saying that I'm I staying with you. I will be your fine up to a tier two if you do not get the fuck out of here. I don't care about no fine i don't have any money you're my friend i'm not leaving you alone well good because i'm also should pairing it up with a fucking beating get going need, like a whole bunch of us in one big group are having problems for the city uh is only take someone to the hospital no i'm trying to get her bike back just let me take it an immediate left to this guy just let me take it shane shut the fuck up before i put your ass if, if, you gotta get off my bike to, to do that. It's very Are bold of you to assume, line? Shane. We gotta write her down. One down. Take it right. See, Bye. hey, I just want you, are you listening? Are you listening to the radio right now? Don't be blaming we what in. happened earlier on me. Cause they're hey, having- he, he specifically targeted you, Shane. Of course, I'm the good-looking one. Oh my god. Get the f*** off my bike. Get the f*** off my bike right now. Oh my lord. Damn, like three what? Just... <laughs> you! Why? What? Stop! Ow! The car Ow! The public ride. I think it ran into me. Ow! <laughs> Shane, we've it, had months, it ran months into me. of public f***ing rides without f***ing anybody f***ing getting targeted just like that. 
<coughs> stop it, Ollie. I'm fucking stop it. Shit. I'm over your fucking shit. What Shane shit? Gunner. You should have fucking never, ever been a member of this fucking club. Ever been a member of this club. Yeah. We're gonna break up. Give me my Thanks fucking bike going. back. Thanks, guys. Yeah, on behalf of the ARD, thank you very much for including us. Maybe more people feel like he does. Maybe I shouldn't have been a part of this club. Um, as for the entire situation, Danny, Larry, Caesar and Tomlin were all brought up to speed on it um, after I had talked with Oliver. Um, I, I had brought the same thing that I had said to everybody else here at the table uh, about it. Um, and it has gotten to the point um, that Danny has brought up and a majority of cabinet as well as myself um, are pushing forward a prune vote for Oliver. Not specifically because of this situation, um, but for kind of a lot of things altogether. Uh, Larry? Uh, Shane. No. no. And the traveler in the oh. dark thanks you for your tiny spark. What the hell he song is he singing in you this go. version? <laughs> Shane he did not Shane. twinkle, so. Holly wants to talk to you, Shane. Fuck. In the dark blue sky, okay. you okay. keep. First off, find the goddamn right song, okay? It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder where you are. Up above the sky, so find the real one. Oh, man. All right. So today, after, or like at the end of church, we had a little thing where everyone kind of said their piece, their beef with everybody and kind of hashed it out. Unfortunately, you weren't there, so I didn't get to talk to you. My bad on that. No, uh, that, it's fine. I just want to kind of preface this so you understand what we're, what we're about to get into. You're not caught off guard. Okay. Now I'm going to do my best to keep my cool through this conversation, but just understand, you know how I talk. If I'm cussing and swearing, it's usually a good thing because then I'm less likely to be punching you in the face, yeah? Right, okay, I got you, I got you. Look, I love you, dude. Yeah, I get it that you're still young. And uh, as someone who had his childhood taken away from him, like, I get the urge to hold on, right? I mean, look, man, I'm a 32-year-old dude and still rocking the fucking comic books. I'm a hard-ass biker who designs all of my fucking bikes after comics. Shit, I got a bike that everybody tells me reminds them of the ball from Toy Story. I get being childish sometimes, but I feel like you need to learn the balance of when to be childish and when to not. What the f*** am I being childish? Are we talking about kicking shit again? Yeah, uh, but also there are other times... Other times uh, what? ...that you just do stupid shit when you know you should probably be straightening it the f*** up. I, I, you know what, it's... Do you remember the time that I was trying to tell you to cool down? Outside the, the streets down on, like, Nicola Drive? And Yo, get my boy out of here. Let's go. All right, bro. You have to leave. I literally asked him. He's not going to leave. So I need you to get out of here. What do you mean? You literally him. asked who? My f***ing neighborhood, him, I I'm not leaving him. my neighborhood. I had the cops wanting to get you out. And you... That's the thing. I didn't, I didn't want to get out of that situation. <laughs> okay. So and you want me to just use that type of like excuse on my part then? No, but, but you are completely right. I, I should have calmed down. I'm going to be honest. That's why after that... I did calm down, but I wasn't going to give up my point because I wanted to stay in that situation a little bit longer. <laughs> I don't see a difference, but okay, man. Whatever, man. But you are right. My temper does get me into problems, and that's why after the club tried to kick me out, 
I've been working on that. Yeah. Just remember who didn't vote like that. I know, dude. And I appreciate that. Even though you rolled your eyes when I did it. Yeah. Yeah. I Except the time I, I wasn't sure what I was feeling, dude. You, you, you don't understand how that feels. If it weren't for you and Tommy, my time in Black Lotus was done. My family for the past 13 years would have been gone. And at the time, I wasn't sure that wasn't what I wanted. It's what I wanted. Even though you, you know, said that I shouldn't have been here. You wish I wasn't even part of this place. That's not what I said. I said you shouldn't have been patched in with your problems. That's not, that's not what you said. You said- You should have fucking never, fucking ever been a member of this fucking club. Yeah, because if you wouldn't have been patched in yet, you wouldn't have been officially don't, don't part of make that. Club. Don't sugarcoat but it now, no, man. No, I, I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm telling you straight the fuck up what I meant. <laughs> all right. And that's what this whole conversation is about. Yeah, you can try to deflect all you want. I, I agree. I, I fucked up as well. Deflect? All right, so, so lay it on me then. Yeah, you, you gotta... You gotta learn to read situations a little bit better, man. That's my opinion. You can you can discredit it all you want. I'm just telling it out is that's it's what we did here, here at the table today. Is it how is this how all of them went? Like because I don't feel like we're like actually making any progress with this right now. Huh? Well, I mean, I haven't really gotten to the end of it. Right? I'm, I'm just letting you know. You're letting me know that you wanted to squash beef with me, or you letting me know that I need to make better choices. A little bit of both. I mean, look, dude. Uh, I can't express what upsets me about your behavior. Uh, you know, uh, look, you, you don't have to fix it, right? You continue on doing all the shit that has pissed me off in the past, and it will continue to piss me off. I am just vocalizing what it is that you do that pisses me off. Well, okay. So, I mean, if you're vocalizing you, then you need to actually tell me the things that you have a problem with. Because you said that you're not going to get in from right now because you're too high. No, I, I said I only know fishing for examples of specific things, but I've made right, it pretty so clear. Kicking, kicking cars. Kicking, kicking cars right. on rides, squaring up to people in situations that are, you know, you don't need to be tense for. All right, man. If you want to say that's comparable to a situation where I just got shot at by a fucking wannabe gangster while trying to patch up a cop, and one of the cops who's bleeding out on the ground is shouting on his radio to arrest me for defending myself. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. You're I mean, in the well, right. You're in the right. Hey, Look, man, this is the condescending shit isn't what I'm, what I'm looking for, but if that's what you what you want to add to this conversation, it's fine. No, it's, it's, it's good. I hope like I hope you feel better. If this is what if this is what this was and it was meant for you to feel better about this, that's great. I mean, uh, look, it's either this conversation happens now like this or we're going to have the chaplain coming on. Hey, <laughs> what's your first? I'm good, man. I'm good. All right, then we'll have the chaplains come in on it because we're not just leaving We don't like need this. chaplains doing shit, man. We're good. I got no shit. I got no shit with you, dude. I n Nothing. I'm good. I thought long and hard about what happened between me and Ollie that day. I wonder if others in the club feel the same way. I think I lost my mom. And now I think I'm losing the club too. Just the man I'm looking for. What? How are we? Not great. Yeah, that was one of those rhetorical questions. What's going on, brother? What's on your mind? I don't know. Ali came to me and uh, wanted to figure shit out. Uh huh. And all it was is him just blaming me and making me feel like shit. So I pretty much told him to fuck off. Okay. Yeah. 
Like, I thought he was going to apologize and admit he was wrong. But no, he's like, you know you need to grow up. And I'm kind of like, you know you need to just suck my... What kind of fucking apology is that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Okay, where, who, who am I here for? Me. I'm here for you. Okay, all right. I'll make that clear. Look, man. Jane, I don't think there's many people in this, in this club that have a problem with the way you do most things. Um... Just sometimes you do things that maybe it's because of your age, maybe it's because... And it's not that you don't care, you just don't understand what it means. And that's fine. You're how old now? 20? 21. 21. Now, I'm not saying I'm much older than you, I'm only 27. Okay? Uh -huh. But some of the things you do cause trouble, and I don't think you do it on purpose. And I think that's where Ollie has it twisted. You know what I mean? Is he thinks you're doing it on purpose, he thinks you do it to piss him off, he thinks blah 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 blah. He thinks a lot of things. And I know the way that he, when he tells you you're doing something wrong, can come off as super disrespectful. Because he does it to me all the time. And I'm sure that's exactly what he did to you, right? I hate to admit it. A little bit of what he's saying, has a, he has a point. Because let's be honest. I don't mind a little mayhem. That's why I joined this club. But Ollie's probably got a point. You do kick cars, right? Only when listen, they're near I'm, me. But listen, <laughs> I'm not mad at you. You can talk to me, all right? View me as, you know, I'm not going to get mad at you. Whatever you tell me here, I don't care. But you do do it, right? But what I'm saying is, is there's a there's a median. Uh, you know, that means like a, a middle. You have points. You know what I mean? And Ollie has points. And unfortunately... Because you guys both have valid points, you will never solve it. Unless you have someone in the middle to kind of call out the bullshit. You're on both sides, not just you, but him as well. So all I'm asking you, as, as, as your friend, as your brother, be open to a talk with the chaplain. You want to know why I joined this club, Shane? I was homeless. I had no friends. I had nobody. I was nothing. I was some kid with a motorcycle with nowhere to go. Doing small little robberies and breaking into houses just to make by. And then I found you guys. And you, when I said you guys, you were there. And I went from some little kid wearing plaid to someone who, you know, I have a brotherhood behind me now. If I need work, I get work. If I need something done, I get something done. And it's, 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 I have freedom. But when, you know, there's you and another person are arguing with each other and you can't come to, I mean, but I'd hope you would call this your home. Without, without feeling, uh, you know, like you're being stepped on, that's not freedom in my eyes. That's, you know, why would, why would you want to stick around? And that, that's my thing. I, I want you to figure this out. You don't have to like the guy. You don't have to, you know, you have to love him. If you don't have his back the same way that everyone else has each other's back, then we're not strong as a club. What's that saying? You know, you're as strong as your weakest link. It's, and it starts with a conversation, and I know that you, just the way that you two are, and it's nothing against you, but maybe having someone there, a mediator, to call out all the bullshit man. Whatever. on both sides. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. But Shane, don't, don't whatever me, because that's not, that's not, you know. Sure. It doesn't have to be today, it doesn't have to be tomorrow. But as of right now, I've learned that sometimes being the bigger man in these situations, I get more out of it. Not for personal gain, I don't mean it like that. I just, I, I, I find I'm a happier. But it feels great. It really does. I don't want to lecture you, okay? You're your own man. You're 21 years old. We all got growing to do. I mean, fuck, what's that stupid saying I got on the back of the shirt? We all have problems, we solve them together. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. 
That's why I'm here. Okay, just do it for me. Even if you don't want to do it. I never said no. I just told Ollie to f*** off. Yeah, give, yeah, you obviously don't go talk to him right now. I don't think that probably, that probably would work out to them. 